Hello, my name is Sophie and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be brutally, brutally honest, I have already filmed this video once, but in filming a later video, uh, my boyfriend and fiance and I accidentally deleted the whole thing. So I'm going to quickly remake it because one, it was quite simple anyway, and two, I'm not going to... I'm quite frustrated that the footage has gone, so if I'm slightly less enthusiastic that is why. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make homemade hot chocolate. Uh, I mentioned it a few vlogs back uh, where I was just having a natter and a few people have mentioned it to me so I thought I would take you through it step by step. Um, there is no recipe, I read a few recipes online but that's about it. First off, chocolate of choice. I use four Lindors. Is that too many Lindors? Probably. But um, that's how many Lindors I, I like to put in. Uh, I put them in first because if you put them in after the milk, it splashes everywhere. Today I am using semi-skimmed milk because I think full fat milk might not agree with me. But um, I don't know how much I care. So uh, put a bit of this in. Um, I have a particularly large mug. So I don't like, I think it's about the same size as my, yeah, it's a little bit smaller than my face. Um, so I don't fill it up to the top, but you know, an appropriate amount of milk. This is what I mean by it's not a proper recipe. It's just some of this, some of that, bish bash bosh, hot chocolate. Milk over Lindor. And then I put that in the microwave for two minutes because I don't have one of those fancy coffee machines that can do that. <laughs> Take your warm milk out the microwave and give it a stir so the chocolate and the milk actually milk mix together. Um, you could leave it here, probably. Uh, personally, I don't think it's chocolatey enough. So once I've given that a good mix. From here, I add hot chocolate powder because why have it less chocolatey when you could have it more chocolatey? This time I'm gonna use one of the Cadbury sachets, but this is my last one. So uh, we also have Green and Black's organic um, hot chocolate drink. I think Lucas got this for Christmas a few years ago and it has been opened but I don't believe he's ever used it so when he finishes work before Christmas I might, might get him to use that and I have re rude. Uh, I have recently discovered the brand Clipper. Um, I had a sachet from them that I got from uni for free last year they had them like scattered around um, it's just student things um, and it was really really nice so yeah, then I mix in my sachet. I never said this would be healthy or good for you in any way. But realistically, is any hot chocolate healthy or good for you in any way? A good old mix. I think we're done. And then you add the marshmallows. Um, personally, I don't think a hot chocolate is a hot chocolate without the marshmallows. I've definitely put like way too many in there, but we're having a good time. We're here for a good time, not a long time. That's my hot chocolate. You can't see it, it's just marshmallows, but it smells really good. So good. Um, so I'm going to go warm up and have this now. I've just been having a Covid safe outside tier 2 catch up with one of my friends before Christmas, so I am freezing. So I'm going to go enjoy this. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's vlogmas, and I'll see you tomorrow for another one.